best things you could do in the morning is to get out in the sun and wear as little clothes as you can, bathe in it. Most people are vitamin D deficient, especially if you aren't eating animal products. Even if you're supplementing D3, it's not the same as getting sunlight, and that's important to understand. Well, I use supplementation of D3 strategically. If I'm going to be at a conference, if I'm gonna be indoors for an extended period of time, something magical happens when the sun hits our skin. It reacts with the water and separates water into positive and negative around the mitochondria in our cells and the mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. So essentially what we're doing is we're electrically charging the water around our mitochondria whenever we're getting sunlight. And this has implications for healing on all levels. It's important to note that with sunlight you need cholesterol to synthesize vitamin D. Cholesterol is required by all the cells in the body it's produced in the liver. On a daily basis, our liver has to produce about a dozen eggs worth of this wax. Our brain is mostly a yellow color because it mostly consists of cholesterol, and it's needed for the health of our spinal cells and our brain cells. So to take the burden off your body of making stuff, it's really important to get good quality animal fats in your diet, local if you can. So the fat-soluble vitamins are A, D, E, and K. And if you have A, E, and K under control, you're eating a lot of high quality butter, grass fed butter and or ghee, then you get the vitamin D, you're setting yourself up for amazing health, especially, this is the key, you have to have good water too. The best water you can find, investing in a water system is the best investment you can make in your health because we are 71% water, roughly 18 gallons. I have a video on Pristine Hydro, if you go back and you can watch my review of their water system. That is by far the best investment you can make in your health. You will feel the difference. Good water, cholesterol, and sunshine. Try to wear the least amount of clothes that you can if you can be naked, because the sunlight hitting different areas of the body have different effects. So on the men, getting sunlight on the back raises testosterone. Same thing on the testes. For women, on the breast does something different. It's not just about getting it on your arms and your neck like I learned in nutrition class. At different times of the day even have different benefits of getting the sunlight. I prefer morning sun and I sit out here anywhere from a half hour to an hour and I don't burn. I'm taking astaxanthin every day, which is an internal sunscreen. It prevents UVA rays from damaging the tissue cells. Astaxanthin is one of my top five supplements that I would recommend. It's a red algae that has been proven to protect from sunlight among, and does a bunch of other things, especially good for athletes. I prioritize sunlight and water. Water sunlight and magnetism. Get out of an EMF. If you're in an EMF hellhole, get out of it. There are ways to mitigate it. Uh, tachyon energy products. I have a video way back on those. Patented technology that, that massively helps with EMFs. If you get those three things down, light, water, and magnetism, then you'll be on the way to experiencing massive health. And of course, Take out the GMOs, take out the processed foods, get your gut working with enzymes and probiotics. If you're interested in consultations, I just started providing those, so just email me at divinesuperconductor at gmail.com to ask about that. Get your sunlight.